All right, hello and welcome to Lightning Talks. Uh, my talk is called This One Weird Trick Stood Integral Constant. Now, if you're like me, when you first saw this in Standard Library, you thought, what is the point? All this is a templated class that has next to nothing in it. What can I do with it? I'm here to tell you the proper question to ask is, what can't you do with it? Let's take a simple example. This is without integral constant. This is a Fibonacci routine. It's declared const expert. However, this, if you actually run it, will take quite a long time. Um, this is one of the few functions like computing Fibonacci. This way will take order of Fibonacci time. The reason is that constant or function isn't actually going to be inline. Well, let's say I wanted to force it to be inline. Absolutely force it. Sure, I'll just talk closer. Is this good? Sorry. All right. So now let's do the same thing, same exact algorithm, except this time around we're going to use const expert, and we're going to use an auto return type, which allows us to take the return type of the function and put the value that we're trying to compute in the return type. By doing this, we make sure that it's, it's partly because it's templated, but also because the value is in the type, we can actually force this to be memoized. This is both compiles fast and runs immediately. However, if you're compiling for debug or with inline functions turned off, this still actually makes one function call. Let's fix that. Instead of calling the function, we'll just call the decal type in and say, well, what type would you return if I did call you? That's going to be an integral constant. We can pick call and call and value out of it. This is no function calls whatsoever, even when all debugging or all uh, optimizations are off. Let's go to something else. We can actually use two integral const as a way to do overload resolution. So let's say I want to map the integers 0, 1, and 2 to the types int, long, and double. We have these three overloads of this type map into function, and then we just use this using declaration to say, well, what would the decal type be if I passed this particular select integer to this routine? And that will be either int, long, or double, depending on when I, whether I pass 0, 1, or 2. We can actually make this general. Let's make a, a, a little class that all it does is have that function for one particular integer and type. Then let's make a collection of these. It takes a number of indices and a number of types, and it just goes through and using using declarations, picks the appropriate overload. We'll actually make a little using declaration just like we did before. We'll automatically instantiate the type map, and then call that function, get the decal type of it. And finally, this is actually what it looks like. You do map into type two int long double. This returns double. Go for another example. You can even overload on collections of integral constant. So this interesting function here, find same type, when you pass an initializer list, if all of the types that you're passing are exactly the same, then the compiler will think of what you're passing as an initializer list of that type, and find same type will return that type. Otherwise, in this case, we'll just say uh, we'll overload for initializer list of size t, and so as long as the things in the initializer list can be cast to size t, then that's the overload that's going to return. Let's see how we use this. So we'll make this function get common size, and what's going to do is call find same type with stood integral constant of all of the templated uh, size t's in this case that get common size was instantiated with. So I'm going to take that collection, pass it to find same type, and then look at the decal type of the type that comes back, put that into same. We use if const expert to test if the return type was actually void. If it was, we'll return emptiness, so the std optional will return empty. Otherwise, we'll actually pick out the value from the uh, stood integral, integral constant type. So for example, an example main function, in this case, get common size, instantiated 2, 2, 2, 2, will return an optional that's filled in with the value 2. If I'd passed 2, 2, 3, then the optional return would just be empty. Thank you. <laughs>